All right, there are some different rounding rules if the number to be dropped is 5. So rounding rules for significant digits when the number to be dropped, so the first non-significant number, is 5. So if the number to be dropped is 5 with non-zero numbers after it, you round the previous number up. So if we round this first number to three significant digits or three sig figs it would be zero decimal two zero so the first number to be dropped is a five so there's non-zero numbers after it so we're going to round it up so that would become a four 1.4556, round this to three significant figures. So the five and the six are to be dropped. Five is the first one. So this gets rounded off to be 146. That looks like I just did a decimal. There. Okay, next number, 125.3. So if we want to round this to two significant digits, or two sig figs, the number first number to be dropped is a 5. So we would round the previous number up, so the 2 would become a 3. But don't forget, you cannot change the value of your number. I can't make... 125 into 13. So you need a placeholder to keep the magnitude of the number. That's very important. Otherwise people are going to pay you the wrong amount in life if you don't care about decimals. So this last one, we have two significant digits. So the zero in this case is a placeholder because there's no decimal. So this follows your uh, previous knowledge of rounding with, uh, with fives. So if the number to be dropped is a five with nothing after it, so no other numbers, or there's zeros after it, we have a new rule, and that is to make the previous number an even number. So this is basically to round out all of the rounding ups that are occurring in the universe when we work with fives. So 62.5. So if we are rounding to the ones, rounding to two significant digits, we would leave this number at 62 because 62 is closer than 64. Here, if we are rounding to the 100th place or the second decimal spot, we would have 726.8. The next number that's even is a 4. That's the closest even number to 3 and 5. 24.850. So here's the numbers that we're dropping. So 24 points. The previous number is even, so we leave it alone. Here, 23.55. If we are rounding this to the tenth position, the first decimal place, the answer would be 23 point, and the closest even number to 5.5 five is 6. 23.65. So if we do the same operation, we are rounding this number to the tenth or the first decimal place. 23.65. 6 is our answer because the nearest even number is 6. So if you have 5s with zeros 
or uh, nothing after it and it's their number to be dropped first number to be dropped there's these new rules to follow.